prostate artery embolization for benign prostatic hyperplasia. Current evidence on the safety and efficacy of prostate artery embolization for benign prostatic hyperplasia is inadequate in quantity and quality. Therefore, this procedure should only be used in the context of research. The aim of prostate artery embolization for benign prostatic hyperplasia is to reduce the blood supply of the prostate gland causing some of it to undergo necrosis with subsequent shrinkage. The procedure is usually performed with the patient under local anesthetic and sedation. Using a percutaneous transfemoral approach, superselective catheterization of small prostatic arteries is done using microcatheters. Embolization involves the introduction of microparticles to block these small prostatic arteries. Embolization agents include polyvinyl alcohol, PVA, gelatin, sponge, and other synthetic biocompatible materials. In terms of efficacy, I will quote from a case series of 47 patients. They reported 19.4 point improvement in mean international prostate symptom score IPSS from 24.2 at baseline to 4.8 after prostate artery embolization. The same case series reported that mean prostatic volume reduced by 42 percent from 117 milliliter to 68 milliliter after prostate artery embolization. They also reported an increase in mean maximum urinary flow rate Qmax of 97% from 9.6 ml to 18.9 ml per second. They also report a reduction in mean post-void residual urine volume from 184 ml to only 3 ml. The specialist advisors considered key efficacy outcomes to include improved IPSS scores, including quality of life, satisfactory erectile function scores using the International Index of Erectile Function Questionnaire, improved voiding, reduced prostate size, and reversal of acute retention of urine. In terms of reported complications so far, mostly quoted from a 15 patients case series, the first one is ischemia of a small area of bladder wall was reported in one patient, urinary tract infection reported in two patients out of the 15, acute urinary retention was also reported in one patient requiring catheterization. There are, there are anecdotal adverse events as well as theoretical adverse events. The anecdotal ones include transient rectal bleeding, retropubic pain, hematuria, hematospermia, proctalgia, and balanoprostatitis. Theoretical adverse events include inadvertent embolization and subsequent infarction of adjacent organs, such as the bladder and possibly the rectum, damage to the cavernosal artery and erectile dysfunction, damage to the external urethral sphincter and incontinence, arterial pseudoaneurysm, urinary fistula, prostatic abscess, hematomas, dysuria, and worsening benign prostatic hyperplasia symptoms. There is also a theoretical, low theoretical risk of cancer if there is prolonged radiation exposure during the procedure. Thank you very much for listening.